All right, so back to this and just carrying on, right? More Celsius. I'm really liking the non carbonated uh, green tea ones. Probably just going to get these from here now. But again, besides the point, right? So again, just back to this. Um, big thing being, um, I'm not going to be able to record for these next two days. Um, I'm going up to the grandparents, and yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not going to record during that time. You know, that is a family priority day. And plus, I've actually been, I don't remember the last time I took a day off of recording. Like, I think I've been recording every day for like at least a month or two by this point. But again, you know, right? Big thing there being, and as it applies to this mod, again, we've reached kind of, I guess, I, I want to say like not the climax, but definitely, you know, the most like one of the most critical points of the mod, right? Again, um, the, the point to where again, Monica ended up basically, say you already figured out the truth, right? She just learned it on her own. Um, Again, and then she kind of forced Monica to tell both Yuri and Natsuki that night, which she did. Uh, Natsuki kind of, you know, took it well, right? Took it, like, in stride. Uh, even she was caught off guard, though, because she didn't know. She just knew that, again, you know, Monica was withholding something. But Sayori didn't take it so well. Or not Sayori, Yuri did, right? She blew up, nearly actually stabbed Monica, right? Uh, but again, she had to go outside, and we left off with Natsuki going to comfort her <laughs> again, right? So I'm going to be out up until the how this mod has been very mid. It's been a very mid mod. Um, I have a lot of questions regarding, again, you know, a lot of questions for the mod makers regarding sort of some of the aim and direction um, of the mod, specifically how it just seems to be MC bad over actually focusing on like interesting and like, you know, kind of like, what would you call it? Interesting. And then like, you know, relevant stuff for you know the girls right again you know I, I like how they're pushing the well i don't want to say pushing but i like how they're actually focusing on some of the relationships between the girls right you know say on kind of not here but then also just all of them together right but again what i don't like is how they haven't necessarily i mean you see them doing the coding shit but you don't really see them exploring you know kind of their i guess sort of you know the rest of their kind of thoughts and opinions on sort of the state of nature of their reality, right? You you get Sayori's thoughts for a bit, right? But it's more so in relation to her revelation that can force, you know, Monica to tell the others, right? So there's that, right? With the uh, big thing there being that, but we don't really get to see what, you know, Yuri nor Natsuki think of it, right? I guess we got, like, a, bill, a little tidbit from Natsuki. She wishes things would be more, like, they could have been how they were, and it was more simpler, right? But again, you know, at the end of the day, it's still something where we don't really have that much from, right? You know, just because they don't give a lot of time and attention to the interaction. Not only that, like, we see them doing the coding, but their coding kind of, just small shit, right? Like, I wish it would, sh and I guess they edited their own, you know, character, but I wish, again, it would show them kind of changing the environment and more so, again, that kind of, I guess, end goal of, like, how they can, you know, kind of recreate their own world for them, right? And kind of fully realize what they want out of, you know, their world, right? But instead, again, just focuses on MC Bad. It's like, okay, this is, like, you know, not interesting, right? Like, I, I don't know what to say, but again, I really enjoyed the last part because, again, we actually got to see some of, you know, I guess they're, like, clashing, right? So, again, which will kind of get, I guess, the uh, sort of the, um, what would you call it, uh, recuperation or whatever, you know, it's called, right, in this part where Natsuki talks to Yuri, right? Because, again, Natsuki, it was a shock to her, too, but she responded well as to where Yuri did. So, again, you know, we'll see their kind of, I guess, recovery there, right, going into, you know, kind of... I guess, so what also, uh, MC's cute ass, not even Han. So, okay, we still have not reached chapter five, but again, dude, like, not even gonna lie, like, the MC's a pretty attractive dude. Like, I'm not even gonna front, but, you know, again, right? She glanced around before stalking up. Bro, she literally just walked into the bushes. Yuri, wait, come on, dude. There's no way you're gonna catch up to Yuri. She's like a foot taller than you. You know, okay. Surprising given Natsuki's the one she's actually been cl getting closer to, but, you know, damn, what the fuck? Kiddo, dude, you grabbed the wrong sleeve, bro, you know? <laughs> she, she grabbed the one that, uh, the, the bleeding one, right? You know, well, I guess that'd be both, you know, both uh, wrists, right? You know, but, uh, what do you want? 
Damn, Jesus Christ, holy shit. This is a because also, I guess, because here's the thing, not only are they remembering what Monica did to them, but they're also remember what they did to each other, right? But to be fair, if we're assuming Yuri knows literally everything, even if she kind of, you know, remembered the beef she had with Natsuki, right? You know, she also must remember the note that Natsuki made in Act 2. Sorry, I'm cracking my freaking, you know, uh, like neck and shit, right? In my back, I've been really stiff all day. It's only 10.45 a.m. I don't know why I'm... But yeah, you know, it's something to where it's like, this is like, damn, you know? Yeah, freaking Jesus Christ. Like, that's, that's pretty out of pocket. Like, not even gonna lie. That's kind of crazy, you know? Yeah, that's why it's like, that. that's actually kind of crazy, though. Like, not even, like, this is like, that's the same level of saying, like, oh, your poem's short like you. That's like the same level of that shit. I didn't mean to. Yeah, she's like, damn, I'm kind of an asshole, aren't I? You know, Jesus. Natsuki, I finally look back. Feel my tears start to flow. What the hell? You just completely lost your cool back there. You know, I nearly out she shrunk back. To be fair, they kind of anticipated this happening. Like, Yuri was, or Sayori was worried about, I was gonna, this new theme. I, I was going to say, because uh, what was it? You know, Sayori, weirdly enough, both Sayori and Natsuki seem to be more worried about Yuri, right? Granted, because Sayori knew that, again, because Sayori knew and kind of forced Monica to tell him, right? She knew, okay, Yuri's going to be the one to probably blow up. Natsuki just knew that, again, Monica was withholding information, and she was kind of worried about Yuri, probably more in relation to her being the one who he's on the canon route four, right? So again, she's kind of dealing with him, you know, more so, right? But obviously, you know, this too. I think what would have been more interesting is if, you know, they did like a, uh, you know, they pulled a, the rug out from under you, did all switcheroo, right? To where it was like, oh, they were worried about someone else, but then it was a different person who blew up, right? And then it just goes to perpetuate and show, you know, kind of how out of touch Monk is, right? With the West River Club mate. Let's see. Then you just insult me and tell me what the hell happened. Dare to, because... I guess, so this, oh my god, it's a fucking remix of the main theme. So I guess they only remember specifically what applies to themselves. You remember after Sayori, um, but no, so they know everything, man. I felt mad, that, and I killed, you know, triple combo, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, but here's the thing. So did Natsuki not know that? So I assume they all just know. Um, Natsuki doesn't kill herself, but she just gets... She just did deleted, you know. Roughly, she just shook me off. I'm sorry, I can't forgive her right away. This is too much. I mean, you know, let's I, actually that that would be a very interesting plot point because the MC is on Yuri's canon route, and Yuri kind of again isn't in a good state. Uh, she ends up like bailing on the MC, right? And again, seeing what happens then, right? Maybe that's how the player caricature gets more involved. If the mod went in that direction, I would take back everything I said. Because that would actually be a pretty cool, like, not twist, but sort of just, like, plot point to go off of. That would actually be really cool if it ended up going in that direction. So, but that was still wrong and stupid of her. You know, because obviously Natsuki was the one who, well, okay, she, she literally did get erased. She got dusted by Monica, right? But, you know, just want to be at peace. So... She looked down at me. A tire express take it over. Let's go back to the house and have some dinner. If you read some manga, I know you don't like it too much and all, but she smiled. I do I do like it. It's a different way to see a story. Yeah, dude, I literally, like, my freaking brain dead ass can't see it without pictures, but I guess the worry is that she's going to see Monica, right? And again, it'll be interesting to see the conversation Sayori and Monica are having right now, right? You know, so I don't know where I was going to go. Literally just wandering, like, you know, we slowly made it. Fingers intertwined, dude, not Yuri. You know, you can't... Okay, so what's the conversation between Sayori and Monica, right? You know, so I'm curious. I looked at her. She looked at me with Rust Mouth. Anime like manga? I mean, okay, Natsuki's... This conversation can go in one or two of two directions. Natsuki can be like, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's basically the same thing, and it's most of it's based off manga. You're just applying it to video, so you're seeing it play out rather than reading it. Or she's going to be a freaking, you know, or she's going to be a freaking, like, what? She's got to be an ass and, and be like, oh, I'm actually manga is superior because, like, dude, like, I swear, like, it, it's hilarious. Like, people who read manga or watch, like, sub anime will be, like, so invested in that form of media. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, 
Like I watch dub, but it, well, if it's available, right. You know, if, if it's only in sub, like I'll watch the sub, right. Like I'm not going to be like, Oh, I'm not going to watch sub or I'll wait till the dub. Like I'm just going to watch it if it's sub, but if there's an available dub, I'm going to watch it. The only notable exception being like live action shows. Like, where are they real people? I can't watch dub for that because it's, like, actually different, like, mouth movements and shit like that. Like, I can't keep track of that. Like, this terrible example. Like, I guess meme example, right? But when I watch Squid Games, I watch in sub again. But it's like, yeah, I can't watch, like, live action shit in dub just because, again, of the mouth stuff, right? But again, you know, for any shows, like, if it's in dub, I'll watch it. But, like, some people will literally, like, I swear, are, like, way too invested in that shit. And I'm curious to see Nazi response because it can literally be like, yeah, it's ba- it's most of it's based off manga and it's just applied on the uh, screen, right? You know, it's just a video. Funny enough, I went to a manga store like a few weeks ago in like a mall, right? I saw the freaking, I saw Kakeguri manga. Like I didn't, well, A, I didn't know it was even based off of the manga, but it just reminded me back to that show. And it's like, damn, I really watched, that show was crazy. Like, probably one of the most entertaining shows I've watched just due to, like, how out-of-pocket and fucking bizarre it is. Like, it's, like, that show is actually just, like, crazy. But, like, again, or not can be like, oh, I'm actually manga. Um, I smirk. Kind of. It's normal. Yeah, literally, you know. Do you think there's an anime version? Part- oh, yeah. She's like, I'm not. I'm going to be real with you. You know. Wait, hold on. What did she say? It would be easier, easier to digest. Hey, I... And I took notes, here was bedroom light was on. So that means, so again, Natsuki's smart. This is what I mean, you know, like for as much as she's my least favorite and we dog on her, right? She's like debatably one of the smartest ones. Like, you know, at least when it comes to like this, like common sense, like street smart type shit again. So she knows that Sayori as well as Monica are likely in her room, right? You know, so they don't need to worry about her being in the kitchen. So first coming from her, she's like, damn, I really can't read. I think wet pasta is first up to making a good meal. Like they're... What the fuck are you? What are you talking about? You have to add. Some... Oh, she's gonna. Okay, I was about to say she's she's making some like metaphor or pun. Yeah, wait. This is. Oh my god, dude! This is. It's referring to when it's referring to this fucking comment that Natsuki made. It's referring to this fucking comment that Natsuki made about wet spaghetti. And her her referring to the oh what 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 you can't oh my god dude Natsuki making it like ten times worse so again I was gonna say freaking um what would you call it uh like yeah dude so wet pasta right again pasta freaking you know so spaghetti and like uh you straight so spaghetti until it gets wet so wet pasta right and then you add sauce fucking which is uh can be uh very uh, interpreted in various ways and then saying you're you suck like you know okay so you already pov so again this will be interesting bitch what fucking and this just means transition into what chapter five so like is it all right if we oh my god dude okay not even gonna lie this is like the worst time to fucking focus on this like don't this is okay this is actually, like, honestly kind of crazy. Like, shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. Don't, I don't want to read this crap. This is, I'm not even, what the fuck? Dude, you're, what time is it? Is it the next fucking day? Dude, this is actually kind of crazy. Like, that, okay. I'm not against Sionica, but this is, like, the worst time to focus on that shit. I was interested in the conversation they would have after she fucking told Natsuki and Yuri going over, oh, whether it was the right decision. Do they think Yuri's going to be able to still commit to the cause, right? Shit like that. But instead, again, you know, she said, what time is it? Hold on. Wait. After last night? Okay. So they didn't even have a discussion. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck just happened? Dude, is this, is this Genjutsu? Wait. Hold up, so, so Yuri's saying this right now, like, in the present day. What is fucking going on? He was a dude, like, you literally just woke up to, like, this shit. Like, you remember what I said? What the fuck is going on? So this is the next morning? Hold on, but what what is this in reference to? Is Yuri having, like, a nightmare or something? Like, what is going on? Like, you know, that's like... Yeah, go check on Yuri. I want to know what's going on with her. 
Like, what the fuck is, like, oh, nothing. I hope not. Uh, uh, stagnant air. It's kind of poor stagnant air. Dude, but what is. Oh, yeah. Hey, what, what the fuck? Dude, what's going on with Yuri? Like, d- like, did nobody notice that she literally just screamed shut up out of nowhere? Like, what is up with that? Like, like, gosh, I mumbled and stood up. You're saying the knife step. Okay, but, but why did she scream just right now? Why? Okay, to be fair, Sayori shouldn't really be surprised. She was the one kind of anticipated this. But why the fuck? I look tired. Well, no shit, Sherlock, you know. Okay, a warm grin. Okay, what the fuck is up with Yuri, though? Like, I really don't want to think. But hold on, what? Why did Yuri say this is the present day? This isn't the last night. Like, what the fuck was up with that? You know, like, Monica was even, they were literally just fucking in their bedroom, right? You know, okay, that's what the actual fuck, you know, there's. Dude, is is this like a freaking trick? Like, what the actual fuck? Then who, who? What? Then who the hell said this? What was this? Oh, is that that is that part of the dream? I'm so. What the fuck? You know, is that part of the dream? Dude, they're gonna. Oh my god, dude, a hundred percent. They're gonna like not make some. They're gonna like fuck it up, like. Okay, that's that must have just been part of the dream. I was so confused. Yeah, that must have been just like part of the dream or something. Human cooking, quiet on some shuffling. Fuck frick, I forgot to say ah you dumbass. Hey, you, real ones know how to do it. Set a phone alarm and a watch alarm. I set I'll tell you what I exactly I do. So I have a watch alarm that is one minute ahead of my phone alarm. So that way when I'm in the field and I have my watch, right? And I set the alarm, you know, because the watch alarm is always what wakes me up from my bed. Like if I'm like in my sleeping bag or something, you know, and using my watch, you know, that'll wake me up. Right. So I like condition myself for that to wake me up. But what I do is I still set four main alarms on my phone, you know, in increments of five minutes. So I'll set the alarm for when I want to wake up one five minutes later, one 10 minutes later, one 15. And it's not something to where, you know, what would you call it? I don't, um, I'm not a snoozer, so it's not something to where I'll wake up and then fucking, um, you know, just hit snooze. And, like, uh, that's those are just uh, emergency, like, you know, backup alarms, right? So, you know, hold the phone. You, am I to see? Are the two lazy presidents taking breakfast? That's why I was like, they're going to fuck it up. They're, they they don't have experience. No, she's, wait, this is Sayori's house, you know? See, she's smiling until she knows my turn. Happy case slips in the one that wasn't hard to read. It was pretty obvious. Dude, literally woke up and chose beef. Like, but okay, to be fair, like, they, like people, like, you shouldn't, you know, be surprised. The fact that they're not like going fisticuffs is like that's a good sign, you know. That's that's like progress. Said cheerfully, she moved a bit to the side. She's revealing the griddle pancakes, the burnt. Don't get all pushy. Grim that she came over. I've seen the whole process. Wow, she seemed to be impressed. Small going away. I guess I'll take, <clears throat> you know, the skip to our step. Pancake. Yuri said quietly. She watched it. Sam finally moved off the couch. She's like, oh, I need to stretch. Like, oh. Uh, yeah, huh? I said proudly. She flipped them over to cook to the other side. They're home. So what do you mean? What do you mean they're homemade? Like, as opposed to what? Like, freaking, like, to- like microwave pancakes? Like, I used to have those shits for breakfast in high school. I-, I really was just built fucking different in high school. I would have, like, a pancake or, like, a toaster waffle and go and, like, run, like, I literally remember I had that, and then I ran my first sub five minute mile for track practice that morning when we we did like a time trial. And I got like a four fifty six. So again, like I really was just built there for that. Nowadays I can't do that shit anymore. But high school me was just like high school, and then early college me, like college me was just different, you know, in terms. But like now it's like shit, you know. I'm not even old. I'm only twenty three, but I guess it's more so just I'm more conscious about the type of shit I do now. And I'm like, okay, would forty year old me like thank younger me for doing this, and would six year old me especially? But again, you know what? How else would would they be? You know, because you just yeah from the box. Yes, that's why I was like, dude, you just got the me- batter from the box or like the mixture, right? I think it's better if it's homemade. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I was like, you know, um, you're ready to come over, dude. She's like pulls pulls the knife out from the table. 
again, visibly tensed up. She just like grabs her wrist, you know, thank you. She said bluntly, presumably a Falanowski. That's good, because again, you know, it still needs time to, you know, cool off, right? Told you she wouldn't be so mad. You know, I think she's okay, but here, here's the thing, right? So long as the fact that she isn't like actually fighting you is like a good thing. Like that's like baseline, Yuri doesn't kill Monica, right? Or like basically just go and straight up fight her. Like anything above that is good, you know. That's a win in my book. So she spoke her mind openly yesterday. So spur of the moment, prospect. I can feel my heart sink. She's probably right. She's down my feet. We're getting the butter and see. But I mean, again, because Sayori might have regrets, but a she would have told him anyway, supposedly, or they would have just you know gotten it out of her, and which would be worse because that would be Saturday. So again, Sayori can't fall into the same mindset Monica had that, oh, maybe she shouldn't have told him. Like, th it's better to give him time to, you know, think it over for themselves. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, she's oystering out, she around the corner, fully dressed and smiling. Yuri trails closed behind her. The two of them sat next to another. See, this will be a nice way to start today. Yuri said a twinge of happiness. Dude, you, like, Jesus. I was like, y'all have fresh fucking breakfast every day? Like, okay. What, what's the, so... I actually have a pretty crazy routine. So get up and if I'm gonna if I know I'm gonna come back from the workout and sleep, I won't have an energy drink. If I do, I'll have half. You know, I'll have half do that, have a protein bar and shake on the way back on the drive, right? Because like 20 minute drive. Come back, finish the other half of the energy drink, go to like whatever I need to do in the morning, have like brunch, right? You know, again, snacks, stuff like that, and then dinner, right? I don't even really eat breakfast, you know. Except like being layered. Three of us stare at hunger as we stacked. I'm not a stacker when it comes to pancakes. I'm not a stacker. You know, I'll, I will say. So, reached up to her chin. Damn, we know. we, Dude, what? can you try to go five fucking seconds without saying anything sus? Like, like Jesus, I swear, you know. But anyway, I was to be fair, you know. Okay, let's be real here. High school, you know, girls, right? Like, granted, you know, I don't know about, I don't know how it is on the female side of things. But I know boys, like. Locker room talk is a legit thing. Oh, my God. This is actually pretty crazy. For wrestling, right? Of course, wrestlers did this shit. This is why motherfuckers think we're all gay, right? We had, like, lotion wars in the locker room. This is going to sound mad sauce. You'd have pumpable lotion on the way back from the showers to your locker. Because you legit had to shower in wrestling, right? Because, like, if you didn't, you would just, like, get skin diseases. Because you're just, like, rolling around with dudes, right? So, but after coming out of the shower, we'd have locker, like, uh, lotion wars, right? Basically, like, some people would have, like, a full bottle of, like, pump lotion, and they would, like, jam the handle so it would, like, squirt out and then, like, hit people. It sounds mad sus, but the, the rule was if you could make it to your locker and get your, like, towel and start drying off, then you were good. You were done. You know, you weren't fair game anymore. But until that point, you were. So it was basically, like, you know, I had a really strategic locker position. It was very close to the showers, right? So something or, you know, I I was like, you know, fine there, right? You know, I got got a couple of times, but, you know, but some people really like, like people took that shit seriously, but it's like, like, that's like what I mean by like locker room talk, right? Like, like shit like that. But, you know, the, the conversations happen, right? You know, these like sus, you know, moments, right? I assume it happens on the female side too, right? Because I, I think, you know, the presumption, because again, I, I don't know, right? But I think the presumption from like, a male's perspective is like, oh yeah, freaking like, you know, women don't have these discussions. So it's like, yeah, no, they definitely do. Just, uh, you know, uh, it's not, it's like a parent. Of course, I need all of these. So it's the utmost confidence. You know, when she looked back, yeah, it's like, dude, literally just put them back on the fucking plate. Like, and she doesn't eat Iowa. Freaking fat ass. You just want to eat more, you little food thief. Get oh Jesus. What the heck? You're right. You'll eat what I don't. Yeah, it's like, whatever's left. We yeah, literally. So. I know you're such a good cook. And she's like, that, she's like, what you don't know is that I poisoned the batter. You know, I poisoned the cake. mix. Yeah. It was a hobby. Dude, no, she, dude, she's the motherfucker who just like, everything is a hobby. Like, you know, people who literally just do anything is like a hobby. Like, it's like, oh yeah, it's just a hobby of mine. And it could literally be like anything. Like, you know, Natsuki inspired you to cook. You smiled awkwardly. Well, yes. You look back down, smile across your lips. That's nice. Took a bite out of pancakes. She chewed away. She's like, it's, this is burnt. <laughs> like, you know, Jesus. All right, getting good. Like, literally normal ass. She's like, I'm controlling my urge to fucking beat her up. Right? You know, Jesus. 
what is the oh my god you know it's like we gotta go to school you know she trail off as a walk towards the front door i didn't think you would be that freaked out well but i suppose that shows how you really are again she's like she's like what she doesn't know is that i am plotting against her you know i felt my frown pierce she looked away the other two joined us at the door your big breakfast took a bit. Yeah, fucking, you know, can't have a normal ass breakfast during the weekend, like like the actual weekday. Jesus. You have to say, of all things you pick up from us, cooking was not what I expected. Well, pick up the bodies, right? Jesus, you know. Um, I felt it would make sense. I already got piano down. Well, none of you do piano. Like, okay, let's put it this way. What does Sayori do on her own time? Not really much, right? You know, Natsuki cooking, right? Yuri reading, right? And she already does, you know, read, right? She she stayed rather silently walked. Now she fucked up. She's like, I'm observing. Kind of happy. Someone else took up my interest in cooking. You know, I guess, you know, baking, right? So I'm interested too. I'm just not that good at it. Hey, you know, improvement, right? Baby steps. You know, you can become good with practically PM. Said softly. During the word school, began to feel longer and longer. I really just want to read. So I'm supposed to leave, right? Oh, the quiet room. Yeah, because Sayori dips in the middle of the day. She just, uh, yes. In the normal route, dude, oh my god, uh, in the normal routine, you're supposed to leave after MC talks to you during the poetry club. Said with a gentle tone, so you look down on her feet. Really don't want to leave. Yeah, it's like, dude, well, okay, to be fair, you get away from him, you know, but you don't have any other choice. She looked away from him. Only well, we knows that look on her face. That's genuine pain. I'll go home. Well, it doesn't need to be now, you know. How about you go up to Okay, that's actually better. You could really get inspiration. That Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, that's honestly, like, yeah, that's a really good idea. Hey, W, you know, of course it is. I have a great idea. I get a little. So you look back and you give me a genuine smile. So I'll something a little inside me. Things won't be so bad today with everyone else around. Except for her and him. It's going to be kind of lonely, though. So you face forward. Monica looked over at her. It'll be all right, I promise. I mean, you know, it, like having some time to yourself, like, like, I can talk about this, right? So I'm very much an introvert. I'm like somewhat anxious about things and I, I'm somewhat socially inept, right? You know, I mean, I'm playing this, right? So self, you know, it's a self-fulfilling uh, thing. But like when it comes to, again, like, like I value my alone time, but it's something to where I still need to like hang out with others, you know? Like it, it's something to where like, again, you know, and, and this was lucky, you know, again, so I'm going over, funny enough, Again, in the private series that I may make public, again, you know, I don't know where I go over kind of my college experience, you know, very in depth. Like, like I legit have like an hour, 20 hour, 30 minute video per semester for eight semesters. So it's basically like a dozen plus hour long series of me literally just going in detail and depth uh, of, you know, my old college experience, right? Again, in phase video too. Um, again, when COVID hit, right? You know, in summer of 2020, you can literally go back and watch the videos, you know, recordings that I made during that point in time, right? They were the insurgents, you know, run two recordings. And then what DDLC mods did I play? That was when I started the Civ 5 deity games. Um, the the DDLC mods I played, I played Relapse, I played Fallen Angel Outcast, and they played, that was when I played Longer Road. But that was when I played when COVID first hit. Um, the big thing there was when I returned to campus that fall. I had, again, my club, uh, or what would you call it? You know, my freaking, you know, because of like the activities, you know, I had outside of my uh, academics, I was still able to go and meet and see people, right? As opposed to just being holed up in my dorm. And I'd say, you know, that's very good, right? Again, even though like I, for the most part, I like to be alone, right? Just by myself, but I still need, you know, to like hang out, spend some time with people, right? You know, so it's something where, you know, you kind of need both regardless of which end you fall on. So like, for example, I live with, so I dorm for the first three years for four of those six semesters I had roommates, lived by myself senior year in a studio, right? Uh, what would you call it? I lived with, I, the roommates fluctuated now, but I live with at least one to two like other roommates generally. For a bit, we had three, but again, right now it's just me. But again, I'm also, when I move right to Louisiana, I'm going to be uh, in a one bed. So I'll just be by myself again. But it's like, you know, I'll still be seeing our people, right? Yeah, Sayori, again, you know, is like, she's the glue that holds everything together. And again, with her POV, reach school. My thoughts still been mixed up on the evening and morning. You seem kind of happy. Better, you know, so she didn't seem so mad. There's still certain anger, unease, you know, resentment, sad, giving up on trying to serve. You know, unease is probably a good way to put it. Um, Fair way. 
I was trying to forget about how William laughed at me if folks on the here now. Hey, Yuri Natsuki. The two looking over at her. You two can go on ahead. I know you're both excited to read. I really want to talk to you. She smiled briefly and went ahead. She won't quit. Bye. She's like, all right. So what's up? I looked at her quiet and rather pale face, obvious. She watched them. Really did screw up, didn't I? Dude, what do you mean? Like telling them? Again, that's a, such a flawed mentality. Again, this is the big thing, right? And this is the risk. And this is what people like. And because this is shit applies to real life. Like this is what people like want me to understand, you know. It's a risk you're taking, right? By being honest, open, and transparent. But it's also a necessary one. You're All you're doing is putting the ball in their park, right? And, you know, you just need to have trust and faith that, you know, they'll do what's best, right? You know, that Yuri will... Oh, my God, this fucking thing. Like, you can't control that type of stuff, right? It, again, it, it's something to where it's like, Yuri doesn't even want to talk to me. Let alone look at me. I mean, the fact that she isn't trying to kill you is like, you know, she clenched her fist. She's so angry. Not just trying to cool off, but she isn't even. Bra okay, but this is also from her pessimistic outlook, right? This is what I thought happened. You're an idiot. You're an actual idiot. I don't like it, it's ironic because I'm insulting, you know, my favorite one, right? The one I've like, I've had MAS for five plus years, right? Hit a hoe. Freaking. Uh, yeah, it just seems funny that I'm insulting her like this. But it, again, it's something to where like, like, here, here's the thing. The naive and sort of idealistic thought is that you have control over this. You don't. You just need trust and faith in them, right? Which is why you tell them, you know, because that's really what that shows versus, again, the big thing. Like, if it does make a difference, then her telling them sooner probably would have been the design factor. You know, Monica, please, you don't need to do this to yourself. Let's see. Turn, she walked over the window. I, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve any of this. Came over. Dude, she was about to freaking like, I thought she was about to jump out the window. So, you know, you're spiraling. Don't do this to yourself. I mean, freaking, well, what's the, like, because I, I was going to say, right? I mean, he, like, because again, here, here's the thing. And that's sort of the naive thought, right? It's like, you know, okay, let's, what she, anything she does now, right? Like, if she can't take it, okay, damn, that's crazy. It won't make up for what you did. Like, I hate to say that, you know, the way to make up for what you did again was by telling them. And that being open, honest, and transparent, which again, a little late, you know, but better late than never. And then again, just trusting and having faith in them that they'll overcome it eventually. You know, that's why it's like that Yuri was going to react negatively to this whole thing, you know. Donatsky, that's literally, I, I'm, I'm so fucking glad. This is literally what I said I wanted to hear out of Monica. Because again, it fits into her character flaws and sort of, again, you know, downsides and shows that she really doesn't understand and know her club members right you know again just because if you again going back to longer roads right if we take and assume her sort of deeper issues there again more so regarding maintain her own image appearance and persona right again that just takes all of her time effort and energy to where again you know she can't you know just really you know get to learn you know again about her club members right her friends right she just doesn't really know that this is show right Versus Sayori, who was like, oh, yeah, Yuri was going to get pissed. Either. But Monica's saying, I thought Natsuki would be the angry one. You know, again, that's why it's like, wait, really? She not. I pulled away. Natsuki is actually quick to react. I frown. You don't re Literally, okay, I take back everything I fucking said about this mod up until this point. I take back everything I said. I am moving this mod back from C tier to B tier. I'm moving this back to B tier. Because this is the shit I want to fucking see. This is the shit I want to fucking see. And this is like exactly what I've been saying in you, for ever since I played Longer Roads. This is exactly what I've been saying about Monica's character and the type of, again, you know, character flaws that they can look at, right? And, you know, kind of deal with. You know, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm like struggling, you know, to freaking, all right. Again, this is like exactly the type of shit that I wanted to see out of this. You know, where, again, they're actually going in and kind of exploring their own flaws, right? You don't know how to handle it, even with all that time. Because, again, you know, it's all about, oh, Mrs. Miss Perfect, Little Miss uh, Universe. And that's okay, too. Yeah, because it's like, you know, you decide to be honest. You got what's needed. Literally, that, because, again, you know, you needed to pull through, right? You need to actually, you know, like, tell them. Again, but this is, like, actually, unironically, this is going to sound hilarious, 
this mod might have one of the best portrayals of Monica I've ever seen. Like, I, I feel like this is actually unironically such a good portrayal. Like, again, like I feel like I feel like all of them are portrayed fairly well. I guess probably I feel like all of them are portrayed fairly well. Like, I don't think and it granted the, the problem isn't their portrayal, it's the MC and just like hyper fixation and focus on him. But like all of them are portrayed really well, like you know. To be this all-knowing per literal dude, this is like this mod must be reading my mind at this point because this is like what's been needed and said this whole time, you know, about like Monica and her personality, right? So you're just like us. <laughs> you're you're just like us. You're not, you know, Miss Aristocrat, right? You're you're down here in the trenches with us, right? Dude, that's like whenever like okay, so. I'm a college grad, right? I live in my own apartment. I, okay, I don't own my car, right? It's like a lease or whatnot, right? Or freaking um, whatever, like, you know, the rent, like, so, but I have an apartment and a car. I'm, I'm not trying to flex, but it's something, because it, it's more of an independence thing, right? But I do know lots of people my age and from my generation, right? Just due to kind of our circumstances, right? Because like I had good parents, you know, I was pretty well off like growing up, like definitely like upper middle class, like, you know, like not, not wealthy class, I'd say maybe I make it in the wealthy class, but my parents were upper middle class. So I still grew up fairly well off though. Like again, went to college uh, scholarship plus like loans, grants, you know, didn't really need to worry about, you know, paying for it. Right. And again, now I was able to reap the rewards, right. You know, full-time job, um, you know, in a promising career field. Um, I have, well, renting apartment, again, leasing car. Uh, my brother, he's going down a similar, well, actually not a similar route, but he's going to graduate college. Right. But again, big, big thing being like, you know, so like, I, I think of myself, you know, as probably above average, you know, for where people are at my age. Right. But again, that's just kind of, again, our generation, Gen Z. Funny enough, I attended a fucking brief for, you know, my work on Gen Z. It was like the worst shit ever. It was basically, oh yeah, Gen Z sucks ass, um, you know. But yeah, but it is something where like thinking about like a lot of 23 year olds are probably still either with their parents, right, you know, uh, which again, that's not a bad thing because it's like if you, they still, you know, because even if you're not like paying rent, right? So long as you're helping around the house and you actually care for and like appreciate what they do, that's for most parents, that's going to be more than enough, right? Especially if you're actually like paying rent, you know, but again, having a job, like, and then need to like commute or whatnot, right? But like, you know, again, some people are either still, you know, in academics or maybe don't even have, you know, a college degree, right? You know, maybe they went like trades or something and are kind of doing their own thing. But, like, I consider myself to be higher, like, again, you know, and pretty well off in a pretty good position. This morning, I woke up. Okay, I woke up at pretty ass time. It was 3.30. It was because I needed to attend something early. Go to the bathroom, see literally the biggest fucking roach in the mirror on my fucking shower wall. And, again, that's kind of a moment of bringing me down to reality. It's like, damn, I live in a shithole, don't I? It, hey, still, It's my shithole, but, you know, still shithole, right? Similar instance here. Little Miss Aristocrat, Miss Universe, Miss President. Again, she's just like them. Again, doesn't need to be this all-knowing person, right? You know, this is like actually like such. I, I'm so glad. For as much as people shit on the mod, and I shit on the mod because I don't understand why they're so hyper fixating folks on the MC. But this is unironically probably the best portrayal of each of the girls. Like, because you know, granted, as opposed to like let's say longer roads where none of them have sentience. Because they all have sentience and they're not really interacting through the MC more so than just, you know, each other with each other, right? Something where we can actually kind of see their true personalities, you know, like they do such a good job at portraying them. Like, especially this instance with Monica, like this is literally like probably the best portrayal of Monica ever, right? Like in any mod I've played. Granted, I have a list of Monica mods I can play. So I'm, I'm glad I played this because this is like actually like, this is like this interaction right here is like perfect, like between the two. Like, and it, again, it, it's something to where, like, I, I really appreciate it. But again, you know, with that, right, I'm going to end it here. Uh, we'll see. I may or may not do a double or second one today, right? But it is something to where if I do, you know, again, we're just going to continue on, right, and see where it goes. Again, we have uh, whatever on the weekend, and then we're seemingly done. So, again, right, that's really all I've got to her this one. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next.